This is my favorite part, right here. Yes, today Star Wars finally updated, and with it brought some much needed love and attention. Or did it? Wait, what? Yeah, so it kind of turns out they didn't really change that much. I mean, the DL44 can still kill in two shots. And I know what you're thinking. Maybe the drop-off is worse. Nope. Well, surely they changed something. Hold up, let me just check through the notes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, all right, all right, that's good, that's good. Wait, that's not good. What, 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 why would you, why would you do that? No! Okay, so this update was called The Road Ahead. I'm sorry, to be called The Road Ahead, you need to be moving forwards with problems. So, yeah. So yeah, it looks like the only things they actually addressed was the distance that the perks can reach and how long it takes you to use them. That's basically it. Okay, so they did give us some new stuff, like a new map that's an old map that's been re-released to be used in multiplayer. Which getting a game in is like Leonardo DiCaprio's chances of getting an Oscar. Apart from that, the map itself is really unbalanced. Like, I can jetpack up somewhere high and snipe people with a sniper from a sniping distance that I can snipe people in the face with. Like, what? And if all of that wasn't enough to appease your taste buds, they also went ahead and added two new skins for your favourite characters, Luke and Han. But I'm sorry, forgive me for saying this, but Han kind of looks like he's murdered about 100 Ewoks to wear that outfit. It's no wonder the Ewoks wanted to eat him, right? No, but in all honesty, they have fixed quite a few bugs. Like, you don't get stuck on small, tiny little rocks anymore. You still get stuck on big ones, but yeah. They've also completely broken Bubba Fett. Like, he is absolutely useless now. His explosive damage has been reduced, and the amount or the spread of the explosiveness has been dropped. They didn't think, oh, I know. We'll upgrade his flamethrower, because that's absolutely useless. Now, he is basically just a guy with a jetpack and a gun. Great. And that is pretty much it. Obviously, there's a few bugs that still need sorting out, and some definite gameplay issues that need to be fixed, like the fact that I can get into the enemy's spawn and basically camp it like this, and just snipe anyone that walks past. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that lovely stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video!